the functionality I'm going to describe is within a space that is less than the most popular pickup truck in the United States, the F-150. So we didn't cheat in either width, height, or length, and we're able to achieve much greater capability in the same, same dimensions, same weight. When Tesla and Elon Musk were designing Cybertruck, they targeted the Ford F-150, and they focused on the length, width, height, and weight. And they were targeting the F-150. They have a 6.5 foot bed. That matches the 2019 Ford F-150 Super Cab with a 6.5 foot bed. The dimensions are very close in length and width. Cybertruck is a little shorter in height. But the most important detail is Elon Musk said it would come in within the same weight. Same weight. The F-150 for that size Herb weight is less than 4,700 pounds. I often hear people saying they think Cybertruck is going to weigh over 5,000 pounds, even 6,000 pounds. If they're able to keep Cybertruck under 5,000 pounds and they deliver a payload of 3,500 pounds, that keeps the gross vehicle weight rating under 8,500 pounds, which helps with regulatory issues regarding truck classifications. This is why the Ford F-150 Lightning only has a 2,000 pound payload because at 6,500 pound curb weight, it can't carry more than 2,000 pounds without exceeding that 8,500 pound gross vehicle weight rating and pushing it into a different category. Check out my most recent video about Cybertruck weight here, and my previous video about Cybertruck weight here, and check out my video about Cybertruck batteries here, and maybe support this channel on Patreon here. Please check out my book, Fair DUI, on Amazon. Check out the t-shirts, elonbits.com. Thanks again to the Vasa Law Firm in Sweden and all my Patreon supporters.